हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इंजीनियरिंग सॉल्यूशंस दिस इज़ द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ सिंपल ट्रिक्स टिप्स एंड सेटिंग्स ऑफ सॉलिड वर्क इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू रोटेट द थ्री डी व्यू इन द शेड ड्राइंग एज पर आवर रिक्वायरमेंट एंड सम अदर सेटिंग्स रिलेटेड टू शेड ड्राॅइंग सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो आई हैव ड्रॉन दिस पार्ट इट इज़ अ बेरिंग हाउसिंग सो आई विल टेक इट एज एग्जाम्पल it has a counter bore and there are two m12 taps so let's start with the drafting go into new then select drawing then select sheet size i will select a3 go into drawing model view here is a bearing housing because it is recently open so double click on it and place here i will change its size to 1s to 1.5 then i will take sectional view okay now i will show you how we can rotate this 2d view like uh, we are rotating the views in 3d space so here in the 3d space we can rotate the, the part as per our requirement same way we can rotate in the sheet drawing also so for that here it is option because i am using it frequently if it is not appear over here then you can type 3d drawing view here and you can drag it and place wherever it is required now select the view first then click on the 3d drawing view and now here we can rotate the view as per our requirement now click on okay just change its appearance that is parent style click on okay now again you can rotate this just click on select the view click on 3d drawing view and rotate as per your requirement click on okay if you want to break the alignment with the base view simply right click on it go into alignment and here break alignment so now you can place it wherever it is required actually it is a tab but in this view it is uh, like a simple hole so to change its appearance just click on setting and then document property tab go into detailing and here shaded cosmetic thread check this mark 
and then click on ok now you can see that this will become the schematic so moving ahead in the video we will see another tips you might have know this if i want to flip the orientation of this arrow toward outside so i will click on this dimension then click on this particular point here you can see the change in the sign of the cursor which indicates the arrow is going to flip so click on this point it will automatically get in outward direction so again if you are, if you want it in the inside the dimension extension line so just select the dimension then click on this point here it is now we will see next thing in the sheet drawing go into smart dimension so here it takes automatically center point although i want to give the maximum distance for that just select the dimension go into leader here you can select the maximum so directly the dimension get changes to the maximum dimension so click on okay you can drag the dimension from center to the maximum one but sometimes it not happens like this you can place over here sometimes this type of the error occurs so simply better if you select the dimension go into leader and select the maximum one another method is select the dimension select this point click on this point then click right click go into quick quick snap select the quadrant snap and then select this point it will take the selected point for the dimensioning So these are the few tips related to the sheet drafting. In next video, we will see some another tricks related to the SolidWorks. Thank you.